This is the new 16-inch MacBook Pro powered by the M1 Pro SoC. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Now as you can see, the packaging is made from 100% recycled cardboard. And the good thing is that there is no plastic cover on the box. At the bottom, you have an adhesive paper strip that you need to tear off to open the lid. Unless you don't tear this strip, the lid of the box won't open, which is a good thing from secure packaging point of view. Now, as we open the box, you will also notice that Apple has done away with the plastic wrap and using thin recycled paper instead, thus reducing the overall environmental impact. We have the space gray color MacBook Pro and it looks pretty neat. Moving on, the box includes a quick start guide and Apple stickers. Next is a 140 watt charging adapter, which is also Apple's first GAN charger. And this is the new MagSafe charging cable with braided finish. It has a Type-C pin on one end that connects to the charger and a MagSafe pin on the other side that magnetically attaches to the MacBook. Now let's go ahead and boot the MacBook Pro. While the setup gets complete, let's look at the specifications. We have the base model with us, which starts at $2499. It includes a 10-core M1 Pro SoC, a 16-core GPU, 16 GB of unified memory and 512 GB SSD. The MacBook Pro ships with macOS Monterey out of the box and we'll talk more about it in our detailed review. Now, one of the highlights of the MacBook Pro is its Liquid Retina XDR display. It has a mini LED panel with ProMotion tech. This allows to automatically adjust the refresh rate between 24Hz to 120Hz depending on the on-screen content. Oh, and now there is a display notch too, which houses a 1080p web camera. After introducing the touch bar on Pro models in 2016, Apple has now done away with it and has now added full height function keys instead. The power button also includes a Touch ID fingerprint scanner. It is quick and unlocks within seconds. The HDMI port and SD card slot is back too and a lot of content creators will be happy about it. The last thing I want to talk about is the speaker output, which is crisp, very loud and clear too. So 
So that's it from our first impressions for now. Stay tuned to Counterpoint Research for more detailed MacBook Pro review soon.